We got the parents here. Yep. We weren't supposed to see them until Africa, but we keep running into each other. <laughs> They're here for now, Maylin's graduation. So we're on our way in our emerald green fit. We're all decked out with our green and representing our daughter Maylin, who is a senior and graduating. So we're going to a luncheon with the parents and the kids. And then tonight she gets her diploma. So we have arrived to our destination. Hi, Sophia. Hi. So good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. So sorry. Any advice for, um, for other kids that are about to graduate? Don't slack in math. Just get it done. So all these girls have known each other since at least middle school. You guys say hi to the YouTube channel. We are out to discover. <laughs> of 2024, thank you for being a part of my community for the past four years, and congratulations, we made it. Maylin! There you are! going to be taking our family to the doctor's office we are going to be getting our malaria pills before we go to Africa and um, my parents who will be doing a lot of these travel adventures with us will be helping them move in today and get settled so lots of stuff on the agenda today so we're off to see our doctor the the doctor we go to it's um, in Destin, so it's a little bit of a drive. We've all arrived to see the doctor together. Gotta pull out. Not push in. Mom. Mom, that might not be. We are taking a trip to Africa and we're needing to see the doctor to get um, some medicine. Okay, we're all done. We got pills for everyone. Yay! <laughs> Funny story, we actually were all just laughing and in the moment and we walked out of there without paying and then had to turn around and run back and pay. All worked out though. They know us there. Now we just got back home and picked up our daughter Madison and we're going to treat her out for lunch um, right now. So we're going to go to this little place called Chanticleer's. It's got sandwiches and soup and salads, so they'll have some healthier options. Definitely on the health kick right now. Eliminating breads and sugars and just trying to get things back in order because I didn't take my medication because of my surgery. So my doctor knew and my blood sugars have been weird and I'm just got to get all that back in order so 
trying to be more strict and health conscious let me tell you diabetes sucks sometimes because you can't eat what everybody else eats and it's just so annoying but um, this place will have some options for me so I'll let you know how we do Thanks. see if I can stay away from the cookies Today are tomato basil and broccoli and cheese so I might get that but they have a caprese salad that looks really good too so we'll see what are you all thinking I'm thinking the club sandwich probably the tomato soup mm -hmm. that sounds good too Go check on my mom today's moving day she has the movers here and we just brought them some lunch James brought it upstairs my parents are really cool they have an elevator it's just a little one but the idea is that my grandma and them can use this as they get they age and they can't do stairs and here in Florida you build vertical because the lots are so small look at Mia Beth's oh, handiwork yeah, she's helping unpack good I job Mia Beth I basically did all well mom you got a lot of room so you weren't I hardly moved into this place thanks for tuning in to see us here at we are out to discover we are in the final days before our trip to Africa and we actually leave in five days so and once we go to Africa we leave on the 30th we will not be back until the 16th and then we're here for a couple weeks before we head to the boat so we've definitely been doing a lot of crunch crunch work on getting things done and then also been um, just recovering from surgery. We're going to our Bon Voyage party. It was originally set up for all my girlfriends, um, but some of the husbands and guys were like, are guys invited? So we've last minute included a few men. So James is actually going to be here as well. And we are there, but you'll probably see way more women. Um, but we're going to just have a little get together, talk about our plans our adventures and about our new channel here on youtube if you like the videos please subscribe hit the like button and it always is awesome to hear from you directly so please share your comments and ask us questions we're here we're the first ones here yes, All yes. oh my gosh hannah this looks amazing voyage party and our friend Catherine is going to play the guitar so this is a blessing and we're asking for help from the Holy Spirit and so the refrain is come Holy Spirit send us your light
having hamburgers James cooked on the grill. McKaylee. You're eating good. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff, all the fixings. Burgers, veggies, chips. All of our pasta salads. It's a good Sunday for Memorial Day weekend, right? Yeah! We're all getting our photos done. We're me and Beth is um, gonna get some pictures, then the whole family's gonna get some pictures, then Maylin's getting some pictures with herself and then all of her friends, and then Beck and McKaylee are gonna get some engagement photos. So we have like a two hour photo session. We'll see how much we can get done. and McKaylee doing their engagement photos. We got time on our side We're in a state of home I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything to stay alive and the time that we share makes it all worthwhile got this place on our own do you feel like we got something strong and i saw you and about today it's Memorial Day and we are still packing and getting ready for our trip to Africa so we are going to be doing some shopping today we're looking for hiking boots for the safari and um, I got James with me and Mia Beth is hiding out there in the back somewhere and um, we are currently at the Starbucks, so we're gonna get some Starbucks and then um, go look for hiking boots. And and then I'm gonna stop by Best Buy and see about getting a microphone for the safari trip and maybe a, a camera. Okay, we had a successful trip. We got a camera. Um, I just been using my phone for all these years I haven't bought a camera in like 15 years so I just bought a camera and a really good zoom lens actually the lens was about as expensive as the camera but at the end of the day we thought that was most important because on the safari animals might be far away so we got that we got a microphone just some gear for the GoPros and now we're gonna grab some air tags on our way out because we forgot to buy those and just in case something gets stolen, we wanna have the air tags on it. So we're all done, we're on our way home. We shopped literally until we dropped, we're so tired. So we're gonna go home. I'd like to say rest, but we gotta finish packing. James has a procedure tomorrow. So he's got to take medicine and prepare for that. And we're just going to spend the evening packing. And that's about it. We're really excited. We're almost there. Like just a few more sleeps. And then we'll be boarding a plane for Africa. And it's going to be a long flight. We go to Georgia. Then Amsterdam. And then... Nairobi, Kenya. 
so we have a bunch of people we're meeting there about 30 people but out of the 30 about six of them I know personally so I'm excited to see friends and family that I haven't seen in a while and um, we got our camera and we're all ready to go so it's gonna be a big deal and we're doing this with the family but this is also um, meet Maitland's senior trip so every time our kids graduates we take them out of the country on some really unique experience vacation instead of doing like graduation parties and big gifts this is what we do we feel like the experience is more valuable so it's just a tradition we've done what are you doing I'm always scared she's like gonna do like loser to me is she doing it she... I guess I'll see when this video is edited what happened behind my back <laughs> yesterday we did a lot of our shopping got to make sure Maylin likes what I got but I got my shoes they're my hiking shoes for Africa they're Sorel they're waterproof Anyways, and James found his hiking shoes. We got everything laid out into outfits. It looks like a giant closet threw up in our room right now. This is Mia Beth's stuff. Mia Beth's hiking boots. Look how organized James is. So we had like a whole vibe. We like set pictures and been discussing about what kind of clothes we should wear, what the weather will be like. So. It's been a big thought process when you're traveling overseas for 16 days. I'm about to go downstairs. I'm packing up my computer and camera and GoPro for today. I'm gonna to be at the hospital a couple hours. James is having a procedure done. I got a lot of stuff. Plan to have stuff to do for the next couple hours while I'm at the hospital. Here's a hint. You know what this is. You know what's about to, what's about to go down. No pun intended. We're on the way to the doctor. Are you yeah. looking forward to this? A little anxious? A little anxious. Not, not necessarily looking forward to it, but I am looking forward to getting the results to see if they find anything with my um, GERD type symptoms. Um, so yeah, going down, doing an EDM or EMD, I can't remember what it's called, the procedure, but they put a scope down my, my throat, look at the esophagus, look at the uh, stomach. Um, what else do I look at? Um, yeah, I think they're gonna be looking to see if there's any like ulcerations or anything from the, maybe the acid. Yeah, and then since, since I'm 45 now, the doctor said, well, since you got to go under anesthesia, we're gonna go put you in the hospital. We might as well get your colonoscopy done. So I uh, spent all day yesterday doing the treatment and um, now dehydrated, hungry. Haven't eaten since like 9 p.m. Sunday, Tuesday morning. Probably won't eat till uh, one o'clock, but yeah. Is this the longest fast you've ever done? No, no. Remember when we did that fast, when we were doing that sugar stuff? I think we did a 36 hour, 48 hour Yeah, but fast. you still put cream in your coffee. You didn't even do that this time. No, I didn't do that this time. No, but I, I did drink um, half coffee. unsweet. Yeah, coffee, and then half unsweet, half lemonade. Oh, yesterday. you did? Oh, yeah, yeah. So they I had said sugar. you could have some sugar. Yeah. So, so it I is, can have liquid, it just is. an all liquid diet. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a little weak. It's weird because I'm. You know what? I'm though? not tired because I'm hungry. Is that weird? You know, like. Are you tired because you're hungry? No, I'm tired because I didn't get enough sleep. But oh, when yeah. I don't, I don't sleep well when I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Yesterday. Yesterday you were not too grumpy, which usually you get grumpy when you're hungry. Yeah. Did you? You think it was just because you're aware? Probably. You, yeah. yeah. Probably because I just knew I had to do this, so it wasn't a matter of when's my next meal coming. It was a 
better knowing it's not coming. Yeah. Wow. Well, and how long did they say the procedure would be? Uh, they said two hours. Okay. It's like the procedure, but of course there's all the check-in with the front yeah. desk and then the nurse, you know, getting ready and, the, and the, before you go into surgery, then the anesthesiologist comes and does their his thing. Yep. Yeah, because he we were getting there at 6.30. His procedure is until 9. So there's two and a half hours of, like, registration, getting him um, in his robe and IV set and talking to the different doctors and doing his vitals and, yeah. Then they put me to bed. And then they put him to sleep, which that's what you're probably most nervous about. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I think I told him that's normal. I think everybody gets like an uneasy feeling when they're about to be put to sleep. Let us know in the comments if that's something that you struggle with. They do it all the time. It's not his first time being put to sleep. But I think everybody gets scared about it. Even though he he already knows he doesn't have a problem with anesthesia, so hopefully he can find comfort in that. And the fact that he's not alone. Other people feel the same thing. I was nervous when they were putting me to sleep. And um, the last time I've been put to, put to sleep was my ACL surgery. Yep. 15 years ago. Oh, here it is. All the scalpels and cutting tools. James, guess what? You get to take a nap now. I do. Are you so excited? He's been up since 3 a.m. <laughs> I wish they would let me wait in here for him. This looks a whole lot more comfy than being out in that waiting room. Well, it's getting close. You know what time is it? it doesn't say it on here. Let me check. 724 so if they're gonna take you at 8 15 an hour earlier you're getting close so so good they're gonna be out of here for like 9 30. Mm -hmm. i mean it is and isn't i was playing i'm glad we're gonna be out earlier but i did bring stuff to do so james just went back for his surgery or it's not surgery it's just a procedure nothing big and the staff was really nice. Everybody um, took good care of him. And I'm just going to sit out here and get some work done and use this time wisely while I wait. Okay, how are you feeling, James? Very tired and thirsty. Do you want something to drink? There's water here. Mm -hmm. It actually went really fast. I just did yeah. some work, yeah. Okay, we're out of here. I'm gonna go grab the car for James. Let's go get some food. Yes. Oh, food. Okay, we're all done. Heading out. It was wonderful as usual. This place is crazy busy. The wait times were longer than usual and the the service was a bit more questionable than usual, but I told the guy, I said, we know they're a newer restaurant. The food is amazing. Like all the talent. Is Top notch, even the pre presentation, the food. Everything. Presentation, the taste, it's very unique. Your salty foods, they make sweet. Your sweets, they make salt. It's just really good. So everybody has figured it out. So that is why they're not adequately staffed, but it's gonna be a good place. James and I have been going for months to this place called 
Aqua Vita IV, but we will double check and make sure we're saying that right. So I had went on medication for my type two diabetes and it caused me to become extremely dehydrated and I got sick. So when I get dehydrated, I'm like, I have to have an IV. This is not alcohol induced. I don't drink, but I do know that a lot of people will go to these places if maybe they have a hangover and they do that too. But um, I just went there because I was having really strong dehyd dehydration symptoms and I went in there and I was like, listen, I'm on this new medication. It's caused me to be completely dehydrated. I need an IV. So they gave me an IV. I felt instantly better. I left, I got the double dosed. It's, I got the big thirsty times two. And then I added like glutathione to it. I think that's all I added. I just kept it, I just knew I needed fluid and then I did a little bit of a booster. And my mom got one done too and it was just night and day. I had never went into a place and had one of these done. I've seen them around, but I've never done it, but I've never been so dehydrated and I didn't want to go to the ER. I was like, unless it's something I can't fix, I don't want to go spend the huge ER fee. So I went into this place, got it, felt amazing. While I was there, I found out they had this really great weight loss treatment and I surprised James with it for Christmas. So we have been like, patients ever since so we're gonna go get IVs before our Africa trip just to make sure our bodies are good and strong getting I'm thinking maybe like the zinc or vitamin C booster today just to make sure that our we're in top notch as we deal with new germs and new environment and neither of us want to get sick while we're there aqua vitae i'm getting the immunity booster which has vitamin c it has the b complex and it has zinc and i'm gonna go ahead and do oxygen too because it's fun and they're gonna go ahead and put me in the fancy chair because i'm youtubing so excited about that <laughs> massage points it's even massaging right now my the heels of my feet and because it's zero gravity the weight and pressure of my body is actually laying right on these which feel great they have, a, they have a set pretty cool in here where it just has a good vibe it has if you feel like you're just kind of floating in here he has different different themes for each day each week kind of puts things on the screen boat stuff space stuff wilderness stuff um, just a bunch of different ways to help his clients feel rested and getting the VIP treatment she's getting her liquids her cocktail of liquids in the massage she is ready to go in relax mode and I just want to say the customer service here every time is top notch. They give you blankets, pillows, he did the lights for me. They're just the sweetest people. Okay, I'm getting my treatment now. I'm getting the trisepatide um, injection uh, for weight loss. I'm doing it for weight loss because I, I just can't. My appetite just overpowers me. So this helps me. Um, and I'll let Dr. D explain a little bit what he's doing before he gives it to me. All right. So, uh, yes, Trisepatide, also known as Monjuro, is a weight loss medication that uh, it's a hormone that stimulates uh, a natural hormone that's secreted by your, uh, your body when you eat a full meal to make you full. Um, it's very effective. It's the most popular weight loss drug in America and uh, uh, incredibly effective. You don't really have to do a whole lot. You just lose weight. Hi, I'm Dr. 
Dr. D. This is my IV bar, aqua vitae, IV drip bar. Uh, I've been open for about almost two years, and the reason I opened this up is after 24 years of being an emergency medicine doctor, I decided that uh, IV bars needed um, what I would call more medical professionalism or oversight, that is. Uh, there's not a lot of doctors that run these. Um, there have been some bad outcomes, and I, uh, uh, I actually enjoy doing this because I get to see people's faces uh, when they're smiling, how they feel good instantly. Um, it's been nothing but a joy. Uh, I encourage you to come here because not only do you get fish, physician expertise, but you get the coolest vibe and the lowest prices here in town. There's a reason we're the number one IV bar. Come check us out.